Narcissism for kids. There are a thousand things my mother has told me not to consume. Strange fruit, dirty fingers, those silica gel beads you find at the bottom of shoe boxes. Most of this I learned as a child. My name is Martha Makaiwa. I'm from Namibia, Vintuk, Namibia, which is the capital city, and I was raised in Cape Town, South Africa. I'm a journalist. Um, my mostly write creative nonfiction. I write a personal column, and when I'm doing my best work, it's probably at the intersection of women, um, human rights, and travel. The best thing about being a writer in Namibia is that um, Namibia is only 29 years old. It's only been uh, independent since 1990. So it's a clean slate. You can write whatever you like. I've had a column since I was 25 years old. It's eight years ago. That's unheard of. But because everything is so new and prone for um, ripe for experimentation, there's a lot of opportunity in terms of being a writer. The worst thing is that we probably don't have as, as much of a literary scene as one would like. Um, again, just because the country is very new, but um, people are starting to take interest and they are starting to fund fiction and, and publish fiction. So, you know, it's happening just slowly. Best thing about Namibia is probably 300 days of sunshine. Friendly people, um, great food, meat, fresh food. I went to the University of Cape Town. Um, again, I was in an all-girls residence. So I think that's definitely shaped um, me writing about women. I've always been, you know, I don't know much about guys, to be very honest, till this day. Uh, I'm 34 years old and I still don't know. And I think that, is, that has definitely influenced, um, I share a kinship with these women. I've seen, I've grown up with them from my first period to, you know, my first love. So women are close to my heart after having spent so much time. You can definitely see that in my work. It's what I write about and it's who I am. I love writing. I've always written. I'm, I used to write the most elaborate birthday cards for my friends when I was younger. I used to tell long-winded stories, still do, they're in print. Um, so I actually enjoy the, the act of writing. I think, that, you know, the worst part is when you're feeling, as a columnist, uninspired and your deadline is not moving. Um, so that can be the worst part, but otherwise I really enjoy the process. I think that in a perfect world, you can write whatever you like. You know, you can write about avocado toast or whatever the case may be. But as a black African woman, I definitely feel personally a public duty to speak about the things that are holding us back, to speak about gender-based violence, um, which is pervasive in my society. So I do feel that that privilege of actually having a platform, not every week, I also have my own interests and I want to inspire people to do different things like travel and consume art because I write about art but I definitely feel a responsibility to my black community, my black woman community and to my community as large. I think definitely the state should support literature. I mean literature is the chronicle of us, it's the chronicle of your nation. Um, it lets you know how people are feeling politically, emotionally, and at certain moments in time. So I think it's incredibly valuable as a historical archive. So yes, um, I think ways in which the government and the state can support literature is through, I've learned at the IWP, things like residencies in our country, um, actually supporting people to produce good work. Um, it can be themed or whatever the case may be, but definitely giving writers the time and space to produce. I have started writing. Ta-da! There are a lot of poets on, in this residency and they've really inspired me a lot. I think I had a very traditional and almost uh, 
you know, archaic or anachronistic view of poetry just from my school days. But here I've been introduced to contemporary poetry from Mexico, like Manuel Becerra, incredible emotional poetry by Madra Grundmana from Latvia. And it's been really inspiring to me to just reimagining the form. So I've been working on a collection of travel poems called Time Zones. I travel a lot, so um, I'm trying to explore that genre through my experiences across the world. The most surprising thing about the USA that I don't think comes across is how friendly people are. Iowa City particularly, I wrote a column called Nashville Smile City because I kept on thinking, why is everyone being so friendly? Is this like I looked over my shoulder because I kept on being called ma'am. Um, so I'm really surprised by the friendliness and in Iowa City specifically, um, this incredible support of the arts and literature. I'd never heard of Iowa City before I came here. I'd heard of Iowa, the state, um, and I thought there was probably corn there, and it's the Midwest, and the connotations of the Midwest are more red state than blue state. So as a black person coming here, I had a few concerns, but I've, I've experienced nothing but hospitality and incredible validation for my work in this phenomenal literature city.